we were sitting in the theater, waiting for the royals to come in, and I realized that the seat next to me is empty, and then it dawns on me that Princess Diana is going to be sitting next to me. The movie starts, and it occurs to me that I'm like, like a fake yawn and an arm stretch away from being on a date with the Princess of Wales. I was visiting my parents over the summer of 1980, came across my father's high school yearbook. My father had gone to the same high school that I went to. And I'm thinking, if I'd gone to high school with my dad, would I have been friends with him? It really is, for me, and arguably the greatest time travel movie ever put on film. If we would have done something different at one moment, would it have changed our whole lives for the better? I think it's the best thing that I've ever written. I mean, along with Bob, of course. But Zemeckis and Gale really found lightning in a bottle. You probably have one of those in you in a lifetime. Lightning in a bottle tends to stick around for a long time. Universal put us in touch with a product placement company. They said to me, if you change the DeLorean to a Ford Mustang, you'll get $75,000. And I looked this guy straight in the eye and I said, Doc Brown doesn't drive a f***ing Mustang. Back to the Future knows no boundaries within a certain country. It's worldwide. It reaches everyone. It has such resonance with what we're trying to do with Secret Cinema. You can be anyone you want to be and you can do anything you want to do. They want to be Marty McFly. They want to travel back to the future. They want to fall in love with their mother. I'm joking. I actually kind of connected a little bit with George McFly. He's a guy that was an outcast. He had big dreams. He had big goals of being this person that no one else thought that he could be. Here's this iconic piece of so many people's childhoods just sitting there falling apart and rotting. Something's got to be done about this. Let's restore it. I'll do it. It's great to have a bunch of lunatics on your side. We maxed out that card on a DeLorean. What are they doing with that car? They drive around the country working for Michael J. Fox's charity. They're crazy, but they're crazy good. It was the right thing to do. Life has taken us places we really never knew it would take us. And that's what Back to the Future is about. The movie defines the taste of butter popcorn. And of course, they picked the right song.